can expect this to be going on in your yard when you are ready to have your system installed. Hey everybody, how's it going? I am Felicia, welcome to my channel. Today, I'm excited. We've got the installers here for the irrigation system. So the team is here. Um, let's go check out what they've got going on. We are here at the Greeny household with yet another project going on. Always got some home improvement going on here. But today, specifically, we are having the water sprinkler installed. Finally, I no longer have to come outside and stand forever and water all these plants. Um, we are getting that installed today. So let's talk about that. They are hard at work right now, digging the trenches for everything. Um, there's a couple things I want to talk to you about before you start thinking about putting a system in. There's some things you want to consider. First things first, you want to make sure that you have a utility service come out and mark your utility lines. You do not want to put these guys at risk. Um, you want to make sure everything is safe and you aren't having your lines cut into or dug into. You really want to make sure you don't skip that step. Keep in mind also when all of the digging and everything is over and it's time for the actual go live should I say your water is going to be off for about 30 minutes to an hour so make sure you plan this when it's convenient for you this process can take up to a day a day and a half sometimes even longer depending on how much of the yard you need done so plan accordingly make sure your animals are put up in a safe place your kids aren't going to be running in the way. Your yard will be in use for at least a day to a day and a half at a minimum. So those are just a few things to start your thinking process when it comes to having your irrigation system installed. So number two decision you're going to have to make is about the timer. Where do you want that? Do you want that inside or outside? Um, you have options with that, so you'll have to decide on where you would like that placed before the installation crew gets here. Here is your irrigation timer box. Um, so you'll definitely want to consider where you want to put this box, inside or outside. The same goes for your in-ground valve boxes. You are going to want to know where you would like for them to place that at also. Guys, here's your valve box area. This is what you're going to see sticking out of the ground from that big old hole I showed you guys earlier. Um, so just keep that in mind where you may want to be putting that. People may have some design plans that this look aesthetic just isn't going to fit into. Okay guys, another thing to consider is your wiring for this. So electrical will have to run to that. Number three guys has to deal with your landscaping. What you have now, um, they will make sure that that gets the proper amount of water, um, but you also need to let them know what you plan on doing in the future. So try to think ahead as far as that's concerned, um, what you're going to be putting in and where. They need to know that so that they can run the proper irrigation to that and make sure that your plants and trees or shrubs or whatever you're going to be putting in the future will have the proper water going to them. Now this should go without saying, however I'm going to go ahead and say it. Not all companies are created equal, not all work is created equal, not all parts and components are created equal. So, make sure you do your homework on the company that you're investing in um, to do your project that they use quality products, okay? Um, whatever area you're in, you just want to look into that, ask them, hey, what do you use? Go online, Google that mess, and make sure that it's quality pieces because once they put this stuff in, you're probably not going to know a whole lot about it. So when something breaks or, or whatever, it's going to be up to you um, to go out there and try to figure that stuff out. So make sure it's quality products that they are putting in for you. There are companies that will tell you that they can do stuff like this for dirt cheap. Um, there's a reason. 
So make sure you investigate why. Why are you so cheap? Is it the fact that you don't have that many workers and it's going to take a week to get a job done that could have been done within a day if you had more? You know, just just try to figure out why it's so much cheaper than their competitors. Um, you may not like the reason why. Go into this knowing exactly how much you want to spend. Let the person giving you the estimate know um, whenever you call them out and they'll be able to tell you exactly what you can have and what you can't have for that price so it's very important up front you know exactly how much you are willing to invest into this project a side note also depending on where you live you may have to have permits pulled in order for you to have this system put in so make sure that you and the company that works for you have done that necessary step you don't want to be getting any fines or into any trouble because you didn't pull the proper permits so just be aware of that and get the rundown of everything that is going to be included in your quote make sure you know exactly what is going to be put into your yard for the price that you are going to be paying drip irrigation are there areas in your yard that may require drip irrigation drip irrigation is an added cost um, but it is well worth it drip irrigation um, the lines can go up under the mulch pretty much like in a bed like this and what happens is the water gets targeted directly to the roots of the plants and the bushes and trees that are in there so it really does help to eliminate a lot of water waste if you have potted plants um, and you're tired of dragging the hose around to those to get those watered you can have drip irrigation added to those let's say you have a vegetable garden they can also run a drip system to that vegetable area so that you don't have to stand out there with the water hose watering that in the All right guys so here's the piping for the drip system that's going to be installed here So they'll just bring that all along the roots of the bushes and things that I have planted here. And in case you're wondering, yes, they will go up under concrete. This is the base of one of my plants. So you can see here they get really close to the, the base of the plant here. And uh, these little things, when the system comes on, they just drip into the root system here so it does save a lot of water and you can't see them under any of these here we've got my rose bush here it is under this bush so nicely hidden let's talk about the maintenance on your irrigation system yes there will be maintenance on these systems now the technicians are going to check everything once everything is installed to to try and make sure that there's nothing wrong and to prevent any potential big problems year-round maintenance is crucial you can get leaky valves or heads can become clogged but it is still up to you to continue throughout the year even when you're not using your system to check everything so you can expect to have quite a few people in your yard doing all different types of tasks we have the guys up front they are going on and putting pipe down while these guys finish digging out the trenches um, with this machine. They are hard at work back there getting this put in for us today. Um, as you can see, this machine makes this stuff go really fast. So I'm going to get over there and show you guys that process um, so you can expect this to be going on in your yard when you are ready to have your system installed.
get through these yards. All right, y'all, so like I said, make sure you plan ahead for your pets. I got my ducks out here. They are safe, they are secure. Um, one got out earlier, but <laughs> I captured him. So just keep that in mind when you're having this done and you have animals outside, just be aware. They are gonna be inconvenienced for a little bit if you can't relocate them. So keep that in mind. Here's what I was talking about earlier. We have some guys in back um, trenching. Everybody has their role. One person was operating the machine, other person's over doing some of the digging that the machine didn't quite get. So everybody has a job to do here. All right, and here you can see the work going on in the front yard. He is hard at work. He's got another guy up here with him. Um, we can't see him right now. He may be over in the duck area. Yeah, these guys are doing a great job. Shout out to anybody who does work outside, outdoors um, for a living. Love you guys, appreciate you guys. Um, couldn't have the wonderful things that we have without you guys out there making it happen. We're on the well system out here. So this is our pump. Everything's getting connected over in this area and running on through the yard. If you have, if you're on a well system, if you're connected to the city, it'll be something totally different. So, um, but this is what we have going on right now. I know a lot of you fellas have worked really hard on your lawns up till now and you're wondering how much of a mess is this going to make? Um, right now it looks horrible guys, but let me show you these trenches that they're digging. They're only like six inches They're not like big old ditches. So let me show you that Here's those trenches from a different view as you can see they're really not that bad six inches ain't that much um, I'll be showing you guys what the yard looks like after we cover these all up and you'll see it won't be that bad All right, y'all so we got some pipe in the ground we are about five hours into this project um, and as you can see they are to the point now where they are really getting down with getting this pipe into the ground you can see the back they have trenched all the way back to the back of the property where the gate ends there. That's as far as we wanted to take this. They're still hard at work back there. This is my front yard at hour number five. Looking good. One thing I wanted to bring up was a spigot. This is the time to have an additional spigot put wherever you need an additional spigot. Now is the time to have that done if you're going to go through all of this. Um, we are going to have a spigot installed at the very back here. We do a lot in these woods back here to include burn um, and we ride four wheelers and things of that nature so you just never know when you're going to need some water or it's nice to have this back here so that we can wash everything off um, before we bring it into the garages. So yeah, consider that if you're gonna do this project, consider where you might wanna have an extra spigot. Um, I'm also gonna have an additional one put up by the animals or by the duck pen so that I don't have to run back to the middle of the yard to turn the water on when I need it for them. So things to consider here. They're getting things tidied up. So uh, we'll check back in with them in a little bit. Um, just wanted to show you guys the end product of what the yard is gonna look like afterwards. So obviously the areas where they had to trench and put the pipe, you're not gonna have any grass over top of that. They really do leave everything else untouched. Everything still looks nice. Um, so just keep in mind, it'll take a couple of weeks for that grass to fill in, but after that, you'll be good to go and you'll be happy you did this, honestly. It looks like all systems are go for the front yard. All right, guys, we are downstairs and this is looking good. Looks like they adjusted everything well. It's hitting everything it needs to. 
sprinklers in the back are hitting everything they're supposed to hit. Everything's working good. I hope you gained a little insight into what to expect if you are looking to have an irrigation system put in. Um, you know your yard's going to be destroyed, but they'll put it all back together. Um, you won't regret it in the long run. This process, it only took today, and they did the front and backyard, so um, not really a, an invasive process at all. If you live in Fayetteville or the surrounding areas, the company that we went with is A1. So that's it for this video today. Thank you guys for watching. Good luck on deciding what you're going to do, whether you're going to get a system or not. Um, hope you do. You'll save yourself some time and energy standing around in the yard. If you found this video helpful, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. Any questions, leave them in the comments. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.